So congratulations, guys. Great film, a lot of fun. Um, was it fun getting to make a Western, getting to play cowboys? It's kind of like every little boy's dream, getting to be a cowboy. Was it fun for you guys to make this film? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It, was, uh, it was really fun. Uh, can't, can't get better than that, you know, shooting and right. horses. And I think uh, a lot of people played cowboys and Indians as a kid. Right. So, you know, it was that. It was just like that, except for we were getting paid. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty cool. True. <laughs> so even better. Yeah. Um, and Chris, I know you've mentioned before that this was kind of a tough shoot. You said the hot weather, there were a lot of curveballs in production. Can you talk a bit about that, why it was a difficult shoot? Well, you know, uh, th there, yeah. Um, this was, you know, there was a lot of elements that we were dealing with that were unexpected in terms of the weather, uh, the heat. There's a lot of moving parts on a movie like this because it's not CG. I mean, you need everything to work in the moment. You got literally over a hundred horses every day and each of the, you know, so there's a ton of people working and waiting to work and, you know, tensions are high. The studio's spending money uh, on days where we're not even getting anything just because the weather's not cooperating. And then when, when there's stress at the top, it all rolls downhill. And so it was a stressful situation. And, you know, each of us were, it, were uh, focused on just like, delivering a good movie and, 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 you know, trying to breathe our life into these characters and so it could be on screen, and I think, I think we did. And one of the things that really shines through in the film is the camaraderie between all of you guys. So can you talk a bit about, you know, bonding on set, if you all got along, and how you kind of came together to really show that camaraderie and friendship between everyone on screen? Yeah, I, we did, man. We, yeah. we right away, we, uh, we, you know, we bonded, and I think you can see that on screen, you know? Um, the chemistry, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is uh, you know, there. If we were we're definitely a team and a family while we were making this movie, and uh, if you'd have taken any one person out, I think the I think it would have fallen down. It really required like it was like a seven leg table, and yeah. and uh, you know we 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 were really all leaned on one another at at, at, at different moments. Each person was. You know, leaned on pretty heavily through this movie, and, and uh, when you go through something like that, you, you get you know you bond yourself to, to those people. Yeah. And did you look to either the original Magnificent Seven or the original Kurosawa film for inspiration for your characters? Or I I, I didn't uh, the Magnificent Seven no uh, the Seven Samurai yeah we watched that together yeah yeah um, yeah yeah Antoine screened this that movie for us. He also screened a couple other movies, including The Wild Bunch, which I, yeah. I think was a little more influential right. as far as who these characters are than the yeah. original. Yeah. Well, most of it for inspiration, right. uh, not to copy or anything. You know? Yeah. And just quickly before we wrap up, Chris, now that we know the Guardians are going to appear in Avengers Infinity War, I'm wondering who you're most looking forward to fighting with. Which Avenger do you want to see Star-Lord fight with? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I have to leave all that to Marvel, like yeah. releasing who's going to fight what. And I mean, uh, me, personally, I... I who do you like to team up with the most? Oh, God, I don't even know. I don't even know the right answer to that because I, if I say the wrong thing, uh, I'll get in trouble by Marvel or by the fans. It'd be awesome to. I don't know. I, I would like. I would like Peter Quill to meet the Punisher. That'd be cool. But he's I mean, not in the movies. He's not in the Avengers, but if somewhere down the road. Talking Marvel Cinematic Universe, right. I think it it'd be happen. cool for Peter Anything Quill to. The Punisher was my favorite growing up, so yeah, that'd be cool awesome. for me to meet him. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much and congratulations <laughs> again. Thank you.